that's it that's one patch welded in one to go this takes a long time and i'm pretty sure i'm inevitably now going to die because of the amount of burning under seal i've breathed in what's going on guys so today super quick roundup what we're going to be looking at trying to do is finally doing that rear engine mount then we're going to look at pulling the engine out i know closing up all the holes cleaning the engine bay and spraying everything in. It's a lot to get done this week or fortnight, but let's see what we can do. Anyone who's been here for a while will remember this absolute monstrosity here that I bodged up just to get the engine sat in place. We've always been intending to make this less crap. Got these here bits of thick five mil sheets. So what we're gonna try and do is replicate this in a less shoddy manner with this. So I'm gonna get my mark on, do some artistic scribblings. Let's, uh, let's take a little look at how we do it. So I was immensely hungover when I cut these out originally. I'm still not actually that happy with the shape. Bloody wish I had a plasma cutter, but it's better than it was after more time than any man should spend with a file and an angle grinder shaping them up to look a bit better. I need to cut this up now, make it into just the back plate, extend this side slightly, and then we can offer it all up the car, tack it together, get it on the bench, weld it up, and it's gonna be wicked, and we can move on to the next step, which is gonna be pulling the engine. Ta -da! What you didn't see is I had to put this extension piece on here, which was like multi pass TIG because I've got zero MIG gas left and I've still got to close up the holes in the chassis, which needs to be done with the MIG. So I'm trying to conserve MIG gas as much as possible. But this is now extended. You can just see where the TIG bit in there. Let's go put it on the car, squirt them on, and bring it back to the bench and close it all up. Wicked! Somehow, I uh, forgot or didn't set up the camera to catch me welding this bad boy up, but a lot of trial and error. Uh, this has taken me officially three, uh, nearly four hours, I think, to get done. But it's pretty freaking solid now. I think it fits. We'll, go, we'll spray it and bolt it on in a bit, check it fits, and then we're going to pull it out. So... Uh, Let's crack on. And just like that, she's out. This is all the shitey grime I was talking about. So we'll give that a bit of a clean, blow that in. Gotta close that up and close that up. So a bit of fab life and we'll be good to go is sort of starting to get to the point where things might start to go together for the final time. So that's pretty cool. Might try and address this little crusty bits, maybe, if I can be asked. But I don't think you need to see me cleaning this, but we'll clean this and then we'll have a look at closing up these gaps. So time to get my scrubber dub dub on. Oh, that's lovely. Garage is a flooded perks of slopey, slopey driveway. Oh, that's my fingers, but you know, looks better. If you're here for detailing, you're definitely watching the wrong channel. I suggest you potentially go and watch something else. But that, for me, will pretty much do. That's a bit gross, isn't it? Hey ho, it's not really meant to be a clean car. It's gonna be a stupid car. Um, it's a bit wet, so I'm not convinced I'm gonna be crawling around on the ground filling those in right now. But we'll come back when it's uh, a little bit drier. I do have something to look at in the meantime, so let's go have a look at an exhaust manifold. You may remember we previously touched on the secondary air inje injection, which I've been reliably informed is a load of old shite and I don't need it. 
this is it. And this is the valvey thing. What lets air pump through here and it pumps it in. Don't know if they're gonna show up, but through some little holes in each of these via this like air rail type thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chopper this off here and blank it with the TIG. Blanked off, not out in focus. No more secondary air injection. That's that's that really. But anyway, that is next. So the next little job, while I wait for all of that crap to dry up, you may remember from an episode a while back when we made this half of the mount that we've just finished making for the back of the engine. It was done a bit ghetto at the time. It's actually slightly, slightly pished, but. It is what it is. However, it was always sort of a temporary mock-up in the way that it was done. This bit, which is, I assume, some kind of damper to stop vibration traveling through the whip, gets in the way of the exhaust. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna cut it off. Also, this was just held on with a bead of weld round here in a single plane. So I'm gonna put a couple of little, a brace there and a brace there to give some strength to it and I am just gonna chop that across there and chop that across there just to sort of make it look a bit better and clearance stuff up. Lots of little jobs. What do you reckon the odds are of us uh, actually getting onto closing up all the holes in that this episode? Lol. Onwards. brace in there how warm is that pretty put my brace in there so I think that is solid now cut a bit of cut a bit off here and cut a bit off here that one's mainly for aesthetic that one actually it needs it just it's a bit tight on the old engine mount anyway that's that one done and it's still not dry so we'll see if we do that tomorrow bloody hell we are back again unprecedented progress in a short time so gonna cut some bits of sheet for that gonna cut some bits of sheet of that and we're gonna get that welded in and closed up and then then we really are making some banging progress what I do want to note while we're here because I don't think I've noticed it anywhere else clutch slave cylinder I'm gonna have to swap this out here at this fitting for the Celica one because that fits over the Celica box which sits here the Yaris one doesn't fit. I think I've covered before. I need to use the Celica shifter cables, I think, because these do not reach. And I'm still undecided on the power steering, but this here standard power steering pump, which comes with the Yaris rack, which is still attached, has the wrong pulley on it. So this is like a 4PK or whatever it is. Belt, 3, 3PK. And I think it's five on the Celica. So I hope, if I do want to run it, all I actually need to do is undo that union, undo that, and just swap the pumps over and then refill the system. But 
again I'm not even sure if I'm going to run it. We shall see when I get the other sleek here. For now, I'm going to cut some sheet metal and we'll come back when I'm uh, welding it in and shaping it. So let's go have a look. Shut up and sit down. Right, it's nice to cut some thin steel after cutting all that 5 mil. That just sort of butter. All right then guys, so all I've done, gone out, just offered this up here, marked where the first fold needs to be. It's not a bang on like square fold line. So I'm just gonna put this in the vise like so, put the steel and bend it around this just to give us a little bit of a radius. So let's get bent, bend that. I'll do the same with the second one, and then we're basically in a position where we just got to get all the paint off and weld it in. So let's have a look. I need to get rid of this, don't I? Gross. Yeah, ready to go. I've got the brake line out of the way, covered it over with the old TIG gloves. Clean that up a bit. Got the earth on. Let's get a weld in. thousand years later anyway that's it that's one patch welded in one to go this takes a long time and i'm pretty sure i'm inevitably now gonna die because of the amount of burning under seal i've breathed in but one in just need to flat it all back with the grinder so i've been smashing on with this a bit off camera because it's a bit samey just welding grinding you know but anyway that section of chassis is now boxed and finished and I've started doing this I'm doing it in two pieces just because there's some really funky shapes here so I've boxed in this path just got to make this second funky half here and we're uh, we're all good so what a day being productive it's not actually taken me absolutely hours like usual but I'll get that done we'll have a look maybe I'll even put a bit of footage of me doing it in this time so let's go Ta -da. All filled in, all shaped up. Give it a good smacking with a hammer. Pray to God the engine still fits. So we'll grind it all back, blow it in with some paint, and jobs are freaking good in. See, I've also got this off as discussed. That's that. Oh yeah, this tripod thing. That's blown in with black. I actually think that looks pretty, pretty good. 
I'm only looking at front back here, doesn't really look that weird. This is just blown in with primer for the time being. Again, doesn't look too bad. The welding up underneath is lackluster. I don't think I've got all the paint off and the welder would just be an absolute bugger. And everything else looking at shred. So that's it. Again, sprayed these engine mounts by the way. Um, another episode done and dusted. I think this works well. I've absolutely crashed it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching it, please give us a sub, potentially give us a like, and we'll be back next week. And I don't even know what we're going to be doing at this rate because I've done way more than I thought I would. Until then, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. That was shit, wasn't it? Until then, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.